Hello everyone, this is NS Altars, and today I'll be showing you how I painted this day's altar. So first off we start with a neutral background color. Uh, it doesn't need to perfectly match the edge colors because we're going to be going over it several times. This is mostly just to uh, make it so that the harsh black border doesn't show through any of our paints. Now with these old border cards, uh, I like to very carefully paint around the lettering. But also, as you'll see, I do get a little sloppy with it. Uh, I kind of paint over the text a little bit, and that's fine. Uh, we'll be cleaning those up later. You can also see that I'm leaving some areas completely unpainted. Uh, I'm, I'm also using this phase to sort of block out where I think other elements of the card are going to go. So you can see where those bubbles sort of go off the side of the art. I'm leaving that area clear so I can fill them in later. So at this point, it's mostly just coming up with your ideas, how you're going to do the altar and preparing the card so that you can paint everything you want to paint. So next up, I'm starting to just fill in where those bubbles are going off the side of the card, mixing in some whites and purples just to try to get a, again, a close approximation, a nice starting area, because uh, later we'll be coming back in and doing those in more detail. So the concept here was uh, really just trying to take whatever motif is on the card and stretching it out into the borders of the card. Uh, cards like this one, like Days, are uh, really fun to play with because they have these elements that you can sort of just drag across the entire card and I thought it'd be fun to add some down at the bottom as well. Uh, magic arts don't always lend well to extending beyond the like top area of the card. Uh, but every once in a while you come across a card where it's uh, really fun and uh, not too difficult to just keep that pattern going. So now that I've got those blocked out, I'm going to start expanding on more details. I looked at his hair. It's, it's pretty spiky in the top left corner there, so I figured I could just drag that out. Next, painting in his shackles. Uh, sort of just filling out some shadows there, and we'll come back later and do a little more to those. And you'll notice that on this card, his skin is very orange, uh, which was uh, an interesting uh, color palette to play with. So again, just blocking out his arm there, doing a little bit of shading. We'll touch that up later. And uh, just kind of placing where this other shackle is going to go as well. Now with his right hand, uh, it was a little bit obscured by the instant text and also by the text box at the bottom. Uh, you can see I have this idea of painting in his hand there, and uh, that looks awful. So at this point, I kind of gave up painting the hand, and uh, I, I told myself, oh, well, we'll do that later. So now just kind of going around, uh, his entire body sort of glows with this soft pink purple color. So just kind of picking out that contrast and seeing where it takes us. And since there's such a high contrast from his body to the background, that background quickly fades to a dark purple that you can see in the corners of the original art. So again, just pushing that contrast really far. And that's usually what makes a uh, fantasy art look so exciting is uh, that heavy contrast. So we're just playing with that and adding in more highlights and pulling back the shadows. So here you can see we've sort of gone warp speed. Uh, this part of the altar was a lot of repetition, just painting in those bubbles, uh, using a wet palette there to really make sure that the colors I'm mixing are blending nicely on the card. So if you look at my, uh, my glass palette there, I'm sort of just mixing everything together at the same time and slowly bringing it from those more middle tones up to a brighter close to white color. One thing that made painting days a lot of fun was these bubbles. Uh, you can't really go wrong with them, so it was sort of just a, a relaxing way to fiddle with colors and see what mixes, see what blends. Kind of just painting wherever I want, however I want, and not really 
too worried about it because in the end it's going to come out okay. So then I decided it was time to go back and fix that hand. First I started off with getting some more proper shading, filling out the actual shape a little bit. Uh, it still looks a little fat and chunky, so then I mixed some purple and pulled in the lines and tried to get a bit more of a realistic hand shape there. Looking at some reference photos as I was doing that part. And in the end I think it doesn't look too bad. I think I got the, the anatomy on the thumb just right. So after painting in the darker areas of the hair, uh, I noticed that there were some also some highlights in his hair, so just coming in with a gray color that matched from the original art and just kind of pulled it out to the natural limits. Adding in a little bit more contrast in the hair and just blending it out. So lastly, just adding some details on the lower half of the card. In general, I don't worry too much about the lower half, as you typically want your eye to be drawn to the upper half of the card, so I just pull the values down a little darker and call it a day. The last step is cleaning up these edges. Now, no matter how careful you paint, there's always going to be some that go over the sides, so I like to clean up the set symbol, make that look nice and crisp so it stands out. Cleaning up the converted mana cost, and again, this is why I didn't worry too much about painting the letters, because we just come back in with a fine-tipped little bit of plastic and clean those right up, and they look really nice on the finished product, almost like you painted around them perfectly. Sign the card, and that's it. And there it is. One day's complete. Thanks for watching. I'll be uploading more card alters as I work through the cards in my cube, so subscribe if you'd like to see more, and let me know in the comments what card I should do in the future. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.